Hey guys, Sean Pruitt here, president of Kingdom Exploration. I get a lot of questions about how do I calculate natural gas? If you own a, a gas well, or if you're looking at a uh, oil investment project and there's a lot of natural gas uh, calculations and you just don't know how to calculate it. And most people know how to process, calculate oil, but uh, most uh, people I talk to, they don't even know how to calculate natural gas. And so this is it. And I'm going to go very, I'm going to go very uh, uh, briefly over this. I don't want it to be long and boring. Okay. So let's say, let's say you ha have ownership in a natural uh, gas well, and let's say it's producing 300,000 uh, cubic feet of gas. Okay. 300,000 cubic feet of gas a day. Okay. So first you got to find out, well, how much is natural gas being sold for? Okay. So right now, right now, natural gas, uh, natural gas right here. I don't know if you can see that, uh, natural gas. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you can't, I got to move my head. All right. Natural gas is being sold for $2.55 per an MCF. Okay, let's hide that. Okay, so MCF. All right, so, so we got to convert this 300,000 CFG uh, to MCF. Now, the way we do that is we take 300,000 cubic feet of gas and divide it by 1,000. Okay, now it's producing 300 MCF. Okay, so we take that 300 MCF, multiply it times current natural gas prices, which is $2.50 uh, cents per an MCF, so times 2.50, all right? So that means it's producing $750 worth of natural gas a day, okay? So uh, 300 MCF equals $750 dollars daily okay now and then what we do is we take that 750 uh times 30 days okay so let's take uh that calculation times 30 days okay that means it's producing twenty two thousand dollars a month in natural gas all right now how do we figure out how much money do you make if you have ownership in in natural gas well okay so as an investor perspective uh, you would be buying what's called working interest okay ownership all right now there's royalty there's working interest and there's net revenue royalty are the guys that own the royalty, uh, own, own the mineral rights, okay? So they get what's called royalty. So if you can't just drill on someone's land and steal their their energy, uh, you have to pay them. Uh, a lot, most times, uh, uh, if you own the land, you get about 12% and the operator gets another 8% or whatever, okay? And whatever they want to calculate. So uh, in, in most of my deals, I try to get a 75 to 80% uh, uh, net revenue. Okay. So the, the, in order to come up with the net revenue, you take the hundred percent of the, so if you drill a well, there's a hundred percent available. So you take that hundred percent, subtract the royalty from it. So in this case, there's 20% royalty. So let's minus hundred minus 20 or for this example. Okay. That means there's 80% net revenue. Okay. And so if you invested into the well, let's say the well costs $600,000. Well, you're paying for a hundred percent, but only getting 80% of it. All right. So if there's a pie, you'd be buying the entire pie, but you only get to eat 80% of that pie. The 20% goes to the operator and the landowners. That's how those guys make their money. Okay. So let's say you invested, um, um, uh, own 5% of that well. Okay. Well, you'd multiply that 5% times 0.80, That means your net revenue is 4%. Okay. And so what we would do, we would take that, uh, um, that $750 a day, multiply it times 30 days. Okay. 22,500 multiply that times 0.04, which stands for 4%. That means your monthly income would be $900 a month. Okay. Now <clears throat> keep in mind, Keep in mind, there's there's gathering fees. Uh, natural gas lines, 
uh, uh, if, if you didn't run the natural gas line, that means you got to borrow someone else's natural gas line. And sometimes it'll take a, uh, a percentage of the natural gas that's sold. Okay. Maybe they'll take 25 cents per an MCF, maybe a dollar, who knows? Okay. So everything is different. Okay. So that's $900 a month, uh, based upon that calculation. Now there's also, uh, so for instance, let's say you're looking at a, 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 a natural gas or an oil perspective or an oil and gas investment, uh, prospect. And let's say you see that a well produced three BCF. Okay. So if a well, uh, produced uh, three BCF, how do you figure out how much natural gas that is? Okay. Well, first we got to convert this to MCF. Okay. So the way you do that, you take 3 billion, the number 3 billion, that's 300,000, 3 million, 300 million, 3 billion, and divided by a thousand. Okay. So that means the 3 billion is 3 million MCF, okay? So 3 million MCF, and right now, what is gas being sold for? Uh, it's being sold for $2.50 uh, $2. uh, per, uh, you didn't see that, but $2.50 per an MCF. So multiply it times $2.50, okay? That means that uh, uh, gas well produced $7.5 million worth of energy, okay? Uh, so... Um, 3 million, uh, 3 million MCF equals, uh, 7.5 million. All right. Now there's also, you see terms like BOE barrels of energy. Okay. So let's say a well is producing, uh, 250 uh, BOE. Okay. Well, what does BOE stand for? Well, uh, uh, BOE stands for barrels of energy. Well, why do they use barrels of energy? Well, it's a simple calculation versus putting oil production, natural gas production, and all the calculations for oil, all the calculations for gas. It's all in one. Okay. So let's say the well is producing 100 barrels of oil a day. And let's say uh, barrels per day, BPD. And let's say the well is producing 300,000 uh, cubic feet of gas a day. Okay. All right. So you'd see this kind of number right there. All right. And so what we would do, we would take the 100, 100 barrels of oil per day, multiply it times current oil prices, which if you look up it, you're, you're going to go by what's called WTI. Okay. West Texas Intermediate, WTI. Okay. WTI right now, um, if you look up um, WTI prices, okay, WTI crude right now is uh, $46 per a barrel, okay? If you look right, I don't know if you can see that number, uh, $46 per a barrel right now, okay? So if we look at uh, 100 barrels of oil per day times $46 per a barrel, times 30 days of production, okay? So let's look at this. 100 barrels a day times $46 oil. That's $4,600 times 30 days. All right, that's 138000 okay? Uh, $138,000 a month of energy, okay? Now... How do we come up with, and then and then the natural gas, let's calculate the natural gas here real quick. 300,000 cubic feet of gas a day, divide that by 1,000 to convert it to MCF. Right now, natural gas is being sold for $2.50 per an MCF at $750 a day times 30 days. That means it's $22,000 worth of natural gas, okay? 22,500 uh, gas. Okay, so here's how we uh, here's how we calculate the BOE. All right. Now, what we do is we take that twenty two thousand five hundred and convert it to barrels of oil. The price. So all we do is take twenty two. So it, it's producing twenty two thousand dollars worth of natural gas a month. If I take this and divide it by current oil prices, which is forty six dollars a barrel. That means it's equivalent to 489 barrels of oil, 
okay? And so what I do is I take the uh, 100 barrels, all right? So let's copy this number here, 489. So right now it's producing 100 barrels a day. Multiply that times 30 days, okay? That's 3,000 barrels of oil a month. And then add the 489 barrels of energy. That's 3,489, okay? That means... That means this well is producing 3489 BOE a month, okay? Barrels of energy a month. All right, guys, I hope this makes sense to you guys. I get this question a lot about natural gas. I hope this explains it to you. If you like this channel, please subscribe. I'm a, I'm an oil and gas man by trade. I was just out in Tulsa. We had some uh, really good success out there. I work with a lot of different operators. If you're a geologist and you have an oil project or an engineer or an operator, send it to me. I'd love to look at it. Look in my description below. My contact information is down there. If you're an investor, if you're interested in looking into oil and gas, taking advantage of the tax benefits, right now is the time to get involved in oil and gas. Oil and gas has never been so good to me. Quite simply, we're able to get into premium lease acreage at incredible prices and developing costs have dropped tremendously right now. I'm focusing on conventional, okay? Conventional is what worked back before oil prices ever came close to $100 a barrel. Right now, oil prices are $46 a barrel. We hit $40 oil for the first time in 2004, and we thought we hit the oil and gas lottery. Well, why was oil prices high in 2004 and not high today? Well, they are. It's because people started focusing on more expensive developments, okay? Shale, fracking, whatever you want to call it, is the most expensive barrel of oil to produce. They cannot afford these prices. Where conventional, what worked back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, still works today. All right, guys, I hope you like this channel. Again, subscribe if you like it. Look in the description below if you're interested in learning more, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.